Let's make some delicious barbecue rotisserie chicken on the slow and sear kettle. To start with, I've got two whole chickens. I'm gonna prepare by applying a little bit of garlic infused olive oil to the outside, as well as some barbecue rub. And go ahead and use your favorite barbecue rub that you like for barbecue chicken. Next, I'm gonna get the seasoned chicken onto the rotisserie spit, making sure that it's nice and tight. Okay, for this cook today, I'm gonna to be setting up the grill for cooking around 300 degrees using the slow and sear and the dripping griddle pan. And then once the grill's up to temperature, I'm gonna place the chicken into the grill, add some hardwood for smoky flavor, and then let that chicken spin. When the chicken reaches 165 degrees Fahrenheit, it means it's all done and you can pull it off the grill, let it rest, and enjoy your feast. Just look at how incredible this is. Mmm, mmm.